Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. Last week I went on three thrift store trips and got some amazing hauls and I put out an extra video this week on Monday showing you all of those items that I got and the prices that I paid which were incredible prices but on today's video I am going to flip five of those items to resell in my store or of course maybe keep it home we'll see what the kiddos say about that little cup so I have everything from a practical shelf all the way down to a cute little mushroom fairy garden teacup. So if you want to see what I come up with, stick around. First project today is a letter organizer or like a little mail slot thing that I got. I think I paid around $3 for it. The back, the nail was nailed into the wrong place. So I just popped that out and nailed it into the correct place. And then I realized that after I cleaned this piece of wood with crud cutter, that this was going to be a bleeder. So I went over the whole thing or the parts that I was going to paint with salvation solution in the clear color, a shellac would work um, as well. It just makes sure the tannins from this wood does not bleed through to the paint, especially since I'm painting it a white color. So I decided to make this one two-toned and just painted most of it white and left like that little background that brown i was gonna do something on those little slots at front and then i was like you know what let's wet distress it with a very wet rag and then i'm like you know what i don't want to try to overthink this someone could use this for um someone said that teresa over at our green acres did one of these as a cell phone charging station, which would be really cool. You just stick the cords in through the back. So I wanted to make it super neutral. It'd be great to just add to a kitchen. And then I did go over it with um, clear wax. My big top, I am out and I need to go to the store and get some more. So I just sealed it in with clear wax and that's it. Nice and simple, $3 and a cute little caddy. I'm pretty sure I could sell this in the booth for $18 to $22, no problem. Apparently the King's Coronation is coming up this weekend and I am out of the loop, but decided to do this little crown I got for $3.09 and upcycle it in this week's video in honor of the coronation. Um, how many of you guys are going to be watching that on TV? I guess I need to get figure out how I can watch it. I used two coats of White Swan and the Perfectionist brush, the new um, one of the new brushes from the DIY Paint Line. Guys, this is I think the Perfectionist is my favorite one. I just went through all the details, made sure it was all covered in white, and then I was going to go back and wet distress and let some of that golden stuff come through. So this one is pretty simple. Two coats, uh, wet distress, and then seal it, and then I feel like it looks so much better and so much more my style. You can see right here, this is the second coat. It just makes it a nice solid and not opaque white, a gorgeous final result.
When I found this next metal plate, I really did have something in mind. Um, I just loved the colors within the flowers on the metal for $3.09. But I wanted something in the center portion. So I went ahead and did two coats of Apothecary. And you'll see I'm going to use this Perfectionist brush. Not only will it get in the nooks and crannies, you can use that point in the edge to very much control the line that you want to make with the side of it. And I don't know about you, but when I can just make the paint go where I want it to go, I totally feel like an artist, even if I'm just painting baseboards. You know what I'm saying? So I did two coats of this. You can see the first coat covers super well. Two coats of this, and then because my big top is out, I did go over it with liquid patina clear which is also a top coat and you'll see here the second coat really does make the coverage like it just it's oh such a beautiful color it's nice to get the apothecary back out and you'll see that i was gonna kind of distress the edges and then i decided well i kind of like how this is sitting up on the lip so i took my time and went around very neatly to make sure that was a nice even and neat line along the edge and then I was like, okay, now what does this thing want to be? Do I put it just a stamp on here? I'm like, I, a stamp is just, it's super one dimensional. Here you can see I'm going to go over it with liquid patina and that just seals it in and it allows anything that I do on the top of it to slightly be wiped off, but it's kind of on top of the top coat instead of directly into the clay paint. Next, I'm going to get out one of the IOD stamps that I got from the spring release that just happened. I'm going to go over it with permanent black ink and just kind of stamp it on. This isn't my final stamp. I just want to kind of have the outline. And here's where I'm doing something wrong. Look, what am I doing wrong? Well, it's not a big deal when I do the first one, but I did not use like a little backing. So, spoiler alert, I do make a mess, but I fix it. So I wanted to show you that even if you make a mess, you can fix it. So I'm going over the leaves with gypsy green. So I've got apothecary on the bottom, I've got gypsy green on the leaves, and I've got white swan on the flowers and the ribbon. And after that is done, I'm going to go over the whole thing again with liquid patina and then try to do the, the top stamp and you will see that because I do not use that clear sheet just because like the stamp was dirty I never cleaned it it wasn't sticking well so I mess it up a little bit and I, it'll look super like oh blurry but I fix it and I just wanted to show you that even like this, this just felt like I was painting art right here. Like I just felt like such an artist and it was very good for my creative soul um, today to be working on this. So just because it doesn't turn out the way that you think it should right away, like don't give up. You can always correct it. And I don't know. I'm just super happy with the results of this one. It could be because I had to do it twice. Um, and it could be because like, I feel like the dimensions of this really help it stick out of this plate. And I really love the results. So I'm just going to let you watch the rest of the process and let me know in the end, did I do this metal plate justice? Thank you.
This next one, super practical, but is going to be fabulous in my booth. I'm going to put it for sale. It was $13. Didn't have to do, all I had to do was clean this up with some crud cutter. There's Henry. Oh, goodness. Um, <laughs> clean this up with some crud cutter. And then I started in with my white swan paint. And I'm using the perfectionist here, but because of how long the handle is, I was noticing it was a little bit tough, but you can see how well this clay based paint goes right over it. The coverage is great. Um, I was going to use this perfectionist to try to get this clean edge. And then I just decided to even paint the, um, the mesh white. So I didn't need to be this neat. So I got out the smoothie brush. This was the last one that I hadn't used yet. And it is a nice short handle. And it worked perfect for this project. It just carries a lot of paint. I think you can see how this is going to be good for big furniture projects. And just smooth the paint on. But the nice part about this little handle is I can get into these little small areas. And not be clicking the top of the space with the handle. So here is the second coat here and I am using my mister bottle to get this to go on nice and smooth. Just misting it, putting paint on, maybe even misting it again, but you can see how this short little handle fits so well in these little nooks and crannies. I'm just loving all of the brushes. I'm gonna say it. So here it is with two coats. I took it on the back porch, ran over the whole thing with um, my 220 grit sandpaper on my orbital sander. Didn't forget the bottom to distress that because it's probably going to be hanging up in the wall. So you need to make sure you're looking at all of the sides. And I'm going to cover this with Big Top. I have not done it yet because I need to go to the booth. That's the trouble with keeping your inventory not at your house. But I really like this and I really like how cute it is styled up. I think I had two creative projects in this week's video. This one um, was in the thrift haul. So cute. $1.09. But the handle was broken and repaired. And it was repaired really well. So a lot of you guys had ideas about it. And I decided let's get some twine. Cover up the handle. And make a little fairy garden. So I had these little things that I got from the Dollar Tree, but then I remembered I got something a while back from Amazon. We'll put a link in my description box below. I think this whole box was $20, so it's a little over a dollar a piece for these wooden mushrooms. You can see that they're small, and they're smaller than I anticipated, so I was going to return them and realize my return window had passed. But then when I saw this mug, I was like, how cute would those be? So let's go ahead and dress up this mug, uh, put some foam in there, paint these cute little mushrooms. I used Farm Fresh and Apothecary to paint the mushrooms and other acrylic paint I had around the house. And I'm, it's sad to say like every supply I had here, I just happened to have in the house. <laughs> I guess that's one of the benefits of also being like a little craft supply hoarder, but, um, I had fun with this one. And when my kid came home from school, she was like, mom, that is so cute. So I am happy with this project. I'm going to let you watch this one too. And I would encourage you to maybe try to do one of these for yourself. Even if you just go get a mug that you think is so cute for, you know, a dollar and just 
have some creative 3D art time because that's what this is. This is very three dimensional. Um, and I'm pretty sure I could sell this. Um, I'm going to say between $12 and $14 if I was guessing. But I mean, think about it. Like my kids could totally do this this summer. Mm, my wheels are turning. A little fairy garden section. Anyway, I'm going to let you watch, listen to some music, and let me know in the comments below what you think of this one.
I'm back to my neutral game. I'm adding some color in it, but I'm loving this neutral vibe that I kind of have going on. I don't know if I can pick a favorite today. Um, it's going to be between that plate that was stamped and then painted and then stamped because it was a little bit of a booger. Um, it's nice when it finally comes out the way that you imagined it come out. But then this cute little fairy cup, teacup, with the little mushrooms, ah, that's really cute too. So, you know, there's, there's two, I guess I have two favorites in this video. So let me know in the comments below what your favorites were. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel, hitting that notification bell to all so you get notified every time I upload a new video. If you like this video, how you can help me is just to like it. It helps YouTube know to send it to other people. So I am frantically trying to get a video finished for next week too, because guys, I've stayed home three weekends in a row. It's been really good for me to create some order in my house, but I'm really excited to say that I get to go on a trip with my husband next week. Um, a number of you, why would you know this part of my story? A part of our story is, um, up and up before COVID and up until COVID, um, my husband is in sales and he had, we had as a stay at home mom, we had a season where he chronically was losing his job. It was just like God would open a door. It'd be obvious this was the job and then bam, it slammed shut. So it was an interesting season for us. I think it kind of messed with us um, emotionally. I know it kind of messed with us emotionally, but I'm happy to say that I'm so proud of my husband. He's been in this position for two years. It's in sales and he won President's Club. I'm so proud of him. And I get to be his like very proud wife that goes on a trip with him. So we are going up to Asheville next week from Tuesday to Saturday. I get to like do whatever I want and relax and spend time with my husband. He gets the time off from work because it's a reward trip. So I'm super proud of him and super excited um, that I get to, gosh, it's been forever since just been just the two of us on a trip. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm hoping to provide some content on my, on my little day trips that we get to do over on Facebook. So if you're not already, not already following me over on Facebook, go check out Create Your Own Cozy over on Facebook and I'd love you to have you join me over there too. So guys, I am thankful you're here as per usual. Um, I just wanna encourage you guys to create something for yourself and remember that it's not about just always making money or getting through things. It's about enjoying the process and making things so that your soul gets fed. I'm thankful for you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.